Hello and welcome to this wave.video tutorial. Anita here. Today I'm going to show you how to add your own videos into the wave editor to create one whole video. So I've just gone away and recorded three short video clips of the co-working space that I'm in at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can pull those three videos into your into the editor so that you can create your own video. So I've gone ahead and selected the 16 by 9 horizontal format and then I'm going to choose add video and photos. So what I need to do to bring my own photographs into the editor is to click the uploads button. So once you've clicked that, the editor will open up and then it gives you the options to upload your files. So you want to go ahead and click upload files. It will open up your own computer and you want to go to where you've saved your videos. And I've got one here. So I'm going to click this one and I'm going to open that up and bring it into the editor. OK, so I've got three files, so you can do all three in one go. So we're going to go upload file again and we're going to take the second one and we're going to click open. And then we're going to click the third one. So we're going to upload files and we're going to click and bring in the third video that I've just recorded. So now what I've done is I've brought all three videos into the editor, but I can only add one video at a time into my video. So I'm going to just do the middle one. So click add. What that will do is it will pull the video into the editor and it will have created you one whole slide. So the slide has come pre-ready with a text box and a call to action box. Now, I would recommend that you bring all three videos into your editor so that you can then create your video in one go. So to add the next video in, you click add video clip or image. You go to uploads and then we're going to do this one. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to add another video clip and I'm going to go for this one. So now what I've done is I've pulled all three of my video clips into the editor to create one whole video. Now I don't want to have any transitions but we're going to talk about how we do that in a second. So the first frame or, or slide has the very first video that I popped in. The second frame or slide has the second video that I bought in and the third frame or slide has the third video that I bought in. To view your video from the start to finish before you do any more editing, you click play project from start. And what it will do is it will just show you the video that you've got. It will automatically add these transitions in, but we can show you how to change those up in a second. And it will automatically add these text boxes in as well. So now it's ready for you to add your personal touches to it. So to do that, you need to just click here to activate the text. So then you can just pop your message in here. If you want your message to last the whole length of the video, you can drag it along. If you want this video section to be shorter, then you can click anywhere on the video setting. And then you want to go here where it says trim, click trim. And as you can see, I've got a six and a half second video, so I can shorten that down. So maybe I might want to concentrate more on the table setting just here to get the cactus in. And that's fine at the end. So then you just click trim. So now I have a slightly shorter video and you can play that from the beginning of each section if you want to. Brilliant. Now also what you can do with the videos that you've bought in is you can zoom in or out so you can come closer and then by clicking anywhere on this area and holding you can move the video up or down so depending on where you would like it to show you can also zoom out so that you can have it more in the center so you might want to play around with that as well you can also speed up the video it's always preset on one so you can speed it up which will shorten your, your slide, or you can slow it down, which will lengthen your slide. So let's just pop it back to one. So once you're happy, so you can just write your text in here. And 
like so. And we are going to go back to this bit. We're going to make sure that we haven't altered our slide length by changing the volume, by changing the speed of the slide, it's shrunk my clip. So I'm going to just make that a bit longer. So that's something to be aware of. When you change the speed, whether you speed it up or slow it down, it will change the length of the slide. You've also got to just check this and make this a bit bigger. So now I've edited my first slide. So we've got introduction to co-working. Then we've got the new slide. So again, we just add our text. So let's just put some words in here. Like so. And then we go to the last one. Click on there. And then you can have You can also add your own logo if you wish. So click the logo section and you can add your logo to it, like so. You can make, you can move your logo around. You can make your logo a bit bigger or smaller, depending on what you would like. Then we can just press play to see how it's all transitioned together. So you pulled in your first video, your second video, and your third video like so. So what we can do now is we can just have a little look at these transitions. You may not want to transition between your three videos. If you don't, you need to just click the transition button and go none. It will pull the slide together. So to see how that works, we start it from the beginning and it just flicks automatically to the next one. Whereas if you leave the transition in, you get the transition coming in like so. Brilliant. So once you're happy with the video, how you've brought your three different clips in, you can add your stickers to it if you wish. So you can either add some stickers or some emojis and some gifts to brighten it up a little bit. If you're on a different plan, you can have your watermark. You can also add some music, which is always quite good for your video. So we can select music by choosing any of these boxes or typing in a search word up here. So let's just put working comes up with lots of different choices. You can pre-play them by clicking the pre-play button here so that you can hear what you're introducing. Once you're happy, you just click add. The editor will automatically shrink the length of the video clip to the length of the video that you've created. So if your video is more than 14 seconds long and the video clip is more than 14 seconds long, it will enlarge the video clip to fit the length of your video. Once you're happy, you just go down and click publish. It will ask you to download the video depending on your plan. You can either download directly to your computer or you can share it to some of the social networks. Click download. It will ask you for sizing. This depends on your plan as well. Anything around 720 or 480 is suitable for mobile. So you can choose one of those and then you just click download. When you click download, the editor will pull all three of your separate videos together to create one whole video. And I'll show you that in a second. Once your video is ready, you can click the download button and save it to your computer or save it or share it automatically to your social network. So I'm just going to just give my video a name save it to my computer and then I'm going to just show you how it goes together and as you can see on the screen if I press play it's brought all three of my videos together to make one pretty little video that you can use across your social media platforms or other channels that's how you bring in your own videos into the editor and fuse them together to create one whole video. Thank you for watching.